Wow, friends! It has been finally confirmed that lawmakers in the House of Representatives have officially passed a brand new stimulus relief package. This new plan will provide Americans across the U.S. with extra crisis relief assistance. So, my friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video to learn how you can claim additional financial aid from the federal government as soon as possible. Also, do me a favor and share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news. In a video later today, I will be announcing the three winners of this week's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. Also, please stay tuned for the keyword from this video. The American people can expect uh, an unusually miserable filing season this year. In addition to the normal headaches that come with filing taxes, uh, they made a change last year in the child tax credit to make payments on a monthly basis to make the child tax credit advanceable. And in doing so, uh, they have ensured that a lot of uh, working families this year are going to get a hefty tax bill when they file their income tax returns. And so add that to the list of things that are costing the American consumers more, uh, one of which, as we've talked about before, is uh, gasoline. And the administration seems to uh, have one approach when it comes to dealing with the high cost of gasoline. One is to blame everybody else. But two, just tell everybody to drive an electric vehicle, uh, which is an insult uh, to the American people. And the latest idea they've come up with is releasing oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which is there for emergencies. They're talking about tapping it uh, for this. And clearly, the um, only emergency we're facing right now is the lack of supply of energy in this country that's a result of this administration's assault and attack on energy production. And so the only way to fix what is ailing people in this country, and that is high gas prices, is not these gimmicks that the administration continues to come up with, the latest of which is to borrow from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which is our emergency again. Um, and uh, they have no plan to replace or refill the oil that they plan to take out of it. it will the House of Representatives just passed a $55 billion bill that would provide assistance to Americans, restaurants, and small businesses that have struggled because of this crisis. Lawmakers approved the measure in a 223 to 203 vote, with only about a handful of Republicans backing it. A large chunk of the bill, which is $42 billion, would replenish the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, a grant program launched as a result of the American Rescue Plan, which President Biden signed into law last year. Nearly 300,000 restaurants and bars applied for grants through the program last year, and this is according to the Small Business Administration. But only a third of applicants received relief. This legislation would also provide $13 billion for other businesses affected by this crisis. And it would establish oversight and reporting requirements to ensure grants are awarded properly and to verify the use of funding. Democratic Representative Earl Blumenauer, who's a main sponsor of the bill, and Democratic Representative Dean Phillips said, that today, that more than 80% of the restaurants that did not receive grants have reported that they are on the verge of permanent closure, citing a survey from the Independent Restaurant Coalition. They said at least 90,000 restaurants and bars have closed since the crisis started more than two years ago. So friends, it is still unclear right now whether Democrats in the evenly split Senate will be able to win over at least 10 Republicans to overcome the 60 vote threshold to end any potential filibuster and pass the measure. Many economists have said that it is likely that Republicans will agree to this bill this month. According to the Small Business Administration, which handles the fund, restaurants and other eligible businesses can receive funding equal to their crisis-related revenue loss up to $10 million per business and no more than $5 million per physical location. In addition to restaurants and bars, Eligible businesses include food trucks, bakeries, wineries, or breweries, and inns. House Democrats defended their proposal as a more appropriate way to help struggling businesses. The House Small Business Chairman called the new $13 billion fund an industry-neutral relief program 
for the small businesses most impacted by the crisis rather than picking winners and losers. The Senate has proposed a version of the bill. However, the restaurant relief portion of the House and the Senate bills are similar, despite the $2 billion gap. To prevent another issue on funds running dry, both bills stipulate grants would be reduced by equal percentages if there isn't enough to provide full grants to all applicants. So friends, what are your thoughts on this new relief bill? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Lawmakers want to boost the child tax credit payments to help American families this year, as the inflation rate and gas prices have soared. Last year, the child tax credit got a lot of press for its major enhancement. But there's another lesser known credit that rose substantially for the 2021 tax year, and that's a child and dependent care credit. The child and dependent care credit lets parents who pay for child care so they can work, claim a portion of their expenses. In 2021, parents could claim a portion of up to $8,000 in childcare costs for one child, or a portion of up to $16,000 in childcare costs for two or more children. Now the portion families can claim depends on their income, and it maxes out at 50% in 2021. But what this means is that some parents who paid for childcare last year may be eligible for an $8,000 tax credit, courtesy of the Child Independent Care Credit. What's even better is that the Child Independent Care Credit was made fully refundable for last year, just like the child tax credit. And so a family with no tax liability can still collect up to $8,000 in full. So friends, if you paid for childcare last year, Make sure to claim what you're owed in the form of the child and dependent care credit. Friends, the keyword for this video is Key West. If you would like to enter today's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, when I'll be giving away three $100 Walmart gift cards, please click and like several of my videos. Comment below this keyword, which is Key West, and additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And friends, also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Well, my good friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who's watching daily. I greatly appreciate all of you. Please, friends, do me a big favor and share this video on social media and with your friends and family. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Friday.